Our next citizen, Mr. Thomas Hoschild. If you would please come forward, state your name and address, please. My name is Tom Hochschild. I live at 4061 Rocky Ford Road, Valdosta, Georgia. And I'd like to raise a couple of concerns about the supposed economic benefits for Lowndes County residents as a result of the pipeline proposed by Sable Trail. Uh, Mr. Brian Farron told uh, yesterday during his presentation stated that Lowndes County would benefit from the proposed pipeline because some workers will be staying in hotels while the pipeline is being built. Some workers will be going to restaurants while the pipeline is being built. There will be a need for temporary workers who may live in Lowndes County, and there may or may not be some full-time permanent jobs for Lowndes County residents. Mr. Ferentold was not clear about that last issue. Considering the vast profits Florida Power and Light and Sable Trail stand to make from the use of our land, I know they can do a lot better than hotel stays, big mats, and temporary jobs. Mr. Ferentold claimed that the pipeline will be economically beneficial because it will supposedly bring in $460 million in property taxes over the next 60 years. First, I'd like to ask if an independent agency came up with that projection or if those are Florida Power and Lights and Sable Trails numbers. The problem with estimated projections, of course, is that they are almost guaranteed to be incorrect. I'd like to request that Sable Trail provide the data and metrics used for that calculation so that the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners and Lowndes residents can conduct an independent analysis. If it is indeed the case that Florida Power and Light is going to pay $460 million in property taxes over the next 60 years, how many tens or hundreds of billions of dollars do they stand to profit over those same 60 years? I'd like to ask them to disclose their projected profits from the pipeline for the next 60 years. At this very moment, while we're having this meeting, we're in the third poorest metropolitan statistical area in the country. The third poorest out of 381 metropolitan statistical areas in the country. I think Florida Power and Light and Sable Trail are in a great, a great position to help us out. We have the supply, they have the demand. They want to make enormous profits by using our land. We want to climb out of poverty. I'd like to propose a profit-sharing venture between Florida Power and Light, Sable Trail, and Lowndes County where a percentage of their corporate profits are given to the neediest families in Lowndes County. This profit-sharing venture would fit nicely into Florida Power and Light and Sable Trail's core values of ethical behavior and community enhancements. Thank you for considering this. Thank you very much, sir.